Interface Mapping Toolkit, Part 3, Create and Configure an Enterprise Server Instance. Now that our service interface is defined, we need an enterprise server on which to run it. In this video, we'll create a new enterprise server instance named ESSOAP to run our schedule application and the service interface we created to interact with it. To create an Enterprise Server instance, we go to the Visual Studio Server Explorer. Usually, the Server Explorer is loaded in the IDE, but is collapsed over here on the left side of the screen. Just click here to expand it. However, if you don't see it, just click View Server Explorer, and it comes right up. On the Server Explorer, expand Microfocus Servers, then right-click Localhost and select New Enterprise Server. In the Name field, type ESSOAP. Click the Browse button associated with the Template field. Usually this takes you directly to the folder that contains the templates. However, if for some reason it doesn't, consult your documentation to determine which folder contains the templates as this varies depending on your operating system. Double-click ES Template to select it. On the Associate with Projects list, check the IMTK SOAP project. This tells Enterprise Developer or Visual COBOL where to deploy the IMTK SOAP project's application and service interface. And later, when we debug the service interface, this also tells the debugger where to find and access them. Then click OK. After a few seconds, we'll see the list of Enterprise Server instances refresh in the Server Explorer and show the new ESSOAP instance. We need to perform one point of configuration on the new ESSOAP Enterprise Server, and that is to set the port number for the Web Services and J2EE listeners endpoint address. The port number set in the endpoint address in Enterprise Server needs to match the port number set for the Service Endpoint URL property in Enterprise Developer or Visual COBOL. This enables the service interface and the Enterprise Server instance to communicate. When you create a service interface in Enterprise Developer or Visual COBOL, its service endpoint URL property is set by default to use port number 9003. Now we'll take a look at the service endpoint URL property that is set for our service interface to be sure it's set properly. Click the Service Interface entry in the Solution Explorer. In our case, this is makecheckappointment.svi. Here in the Properties window, look at the entry for Service Endpoint URL. The port number is the last four characters of the URL, and we can see that it is indeed 9003. Now we'll set the ESSOAP Enterprise Server's Web Services and J2EE Listener endpoint address to also use port number 9003. We'll do this in Enterprise Server Administration. From the Server Explorer, right-click Microfocus Servers, and then click Administration. The Enterprise Server Administration homepage appears in a new tabbed window in Visual Studio. Here is the entry for our ESSOAP Enterprise Server instance that we just created. In the Communications Processes column for the ESSOAP server, click the Details button. This brings up a list of listeners for the Enterprise Server instance. We want to set the port for the Web Services and J2EE listener. Click the Edit button that corresponds to it. Change the contents of the Endpoint Address field to include the port number. To do this, replace the second asterisk with 9003. Click OK. Now that we're done with our configuration, we can close Enterprise Server Administration.